Hey guys, so we're at the local hardwood supplier. I wanna take you around this yard and show you what it's like to buy hardwood. Some people can be scared of it, but let's jump into this video. At a hardwood place, you're gonna work with one of the sales guy. I've been working with Carrie for a while now and he's been absolutely fantastic. Haven't told him we're here to film. So let's go inside, surprise him and have him walk us around. So we're at the warehouse at the Hardwood local lumber yard in East Idaho, and I'm with my sales guy, Carrie. So we're gonna walk around. Carrie's gonna tell us a little bit about what's around in this warehouse. Don't be confused, it's a lot simpler than it looks. So let's go, Carrie. What do we got going on? Our main, our main set of customers is the cabinet maker. And we've got, most of the cabinets are built, the boxes are out of melamine. We've got all the white melamine. We have all the lumber that they wanna use for cabinet doors and end panels and drawer okay. fronts. Awesome. So what do we have like in this rack right here as we walk down, what type of species are we looking at? You got red oak, you got hickory, cherry. Awesome. Ash, walnut, maple. Rustic hickory is very popular. A lot of uh, browns and grays. Yep. Walnut and uh, That's white definitely oak. in right now. You know I'm doing a lot of projects out of both walnut and white oak. You are oak, doing so. both, aren't you? Yeah, let's go check out down here. Do you still sell a lot of birch? Baltic birch is a is quite popular, um, but it's having its, its supply issues. We're seeing some shortages just with shipping and. You can and see how empty the racks are. So this is the Baltic birch this over is the here. Baltic birch rack right here. Russians are having trouble with their supply of the material and also the container issues. Is, is there anyone specific in office that we should blame, or is this just a? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Let's go to the, I think my favorite section. Cause I, I build some cabinetry, but I'm definitely not as skilled as these other guys, but I like using a lot of these hardwoods over here. And this looks like Disneyland. Look at this is poplar, huh? Poplar. Look at these big wide planks of poplar. It's beautiful. Yeah, poplar is a very wide wood. Well, poplar is one of the few woods they can actually just cut out of the tree, cut the logs and throw it in the kiln and pop it out in two weeks. And it's a cheaper product, right? It's less expensive. Less expensive. What do we got here? Aromatic cedar for your cedar closets and closet lining. Uh, walnuts, white oaks. There we're talking about That's units awesome. and units. This comes, most of this comes from back east. Okay. Pennsylvania, Ohio. A lot more of these hardwood trees growing over there than in Idaho. Do we have any good hardwood trees here? No. Nothing. Uh, All firs. Yeah. The only thing that's really a substantial one is on the West Coast is alder. Alder. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got going on down here. Just stacks and stacks. Two stories, three stories tall of all hardwood. And this is all sheets of what? This is a lot. This is um, textured melamine. Okay. So this is going to be all, a bunch of... Uh, closets, cabinets. Closet cabinets. It's actually stepping into the middle of the kitchen cabinet industry. Is it? There's okay. There's a lot of kitchen cabinets being built. It's I mean, got a real pretty. I'm, I'm guessing because look how much is here. This is insane. It is. Yeah, I love it here. And you've been super, super easy to work with, helping through the process of figuring out how much board footage I need, which I want. Once we go inside, I want you to explain how you calculate that because I think that can be a very confusing aspect at a home homeowner or someone that's new to coming to a store like this over Home Depot or Lowe's. It's a little overwhelming. Yep. This is all walnut here? Yeah. yeah. Walnut. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this is our Montana snow fence, right? Uh, so this well, is what I'm, I'm gonna be using, or oh, Wyoming snow fence. These here are actually barn board coming off of Mother Nature does a great job in- Look at the patina on this. I mean, that's just, that's no stain, no paint, nothing. That's just natural from years of being out in the weather. You got all this flooring put in as a showpiece for all customers? It. It's brand new. We just touched it up this last week. That's awesome. We've got... What kind of species do we have down here? We've got all kinds. We've got hickory. We've got white oak. What's uh, this guy right here? This one is a hickory also. And those, what are those cuts called on there? Circle saw texture. Circle saw. So like these two have that circle saw texture to give that's it more of that rustic look. And that's on the walnut. Okay. That's walnut Very over pretty. there. What's this right here? Looks like it's a, a reclaimed oak. Very similar to that snow fence we just looked okay. at. This is actually reclaimed oak. Those are probably original circle saws from the log. And this is all real hardwood that's tongue and grooved, tongue and snapped real together. Hardwood. Man, that's beautiful. And then Carrie, is this that 
Is this the same snow fence that's outside? There's your snow fence right there. So that's what it looks like. We'll also go to the job site and show that as well. But man, that looks awesome. One of the biggest confusing things I think for customers is how you order at a hardwood place, right? So it's by the board foot, right? Bar board foot. So the reason it's board foot is because the boards, they cut the boards as wide as they can get out of the log. So there's nothing consistent in hardwood. So, so the widths are always going to be a variable, right? But your lengths can always be the same. Um, in the same unit. In the same unit, okay. So how, how is a board foot calculated? Uh, board foot is volume as compared to square foot is surface area. Mm -hmm. So board foot is um, the surface area times the thickness. Times the thickness, okay. So, so all this is one by, one by material. So your one square footage thick. times one is the square footage. Right. Where that comes into play difference is the volume in the, in the thickness. If we had a two or three inch thick piece right. of cut. You bought a lot of two inch Then this is more board more. foot if it's thicker than if it's the one One square inch. foot, two inches thick would be two board feet. Okay. So that, so that could be confusing, but that makes sense. Simple, simple formula, inches wide, feet long by feet long, divided by 12 times the thickness. And that's your board foot. And that's your board footage. And then you you charge a do you know, whatever dollar amount times the board footage, that's times right. how many units or you know, how much you have in total. Okay, awesome. Yep. And so then- Typical board's gonna be have four, five, six board feet in it. Okay. A typical what, six inch, eight foot, and 10 foot board. Why do you think people are scared to come here and always will go to Lowe's or Home Depot over a, a nice hardwood place? What do you think are some of the fears? Uh, Lowe's has taken that lumber and already dressed it up. So it's basically a three quarter by five and a half inch piece. Mm -hmm. It's easy to know exactly what you're going to get by that piece. But they're charging more. But they're charging right. more because it takes more to get to that point. Right. And they don't have as much variant, right? variables right. in terms of species that that are offered right so would you say that these places are catered more towards the skilled craftsmen or do you think that beginning woodworkers or homeowners can still come and shop here uh, the homeowner can come shop here they just have to expect they're buying a full board and a full sheet and right to haul it right kind of wholesale right so in a sense this is still catered more towards contractors carpenters yes. people that really know what they're doing they have the tools right uh, home depot people don't have tools right usually Right. Awesome. If you like this video and it definitely helped and you're ready to go to a hardware place, let me know in the comment below. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Check out these other videos. We'll see you next time.